Hey everybody, it's Kayak Cliff. It's a beautiful Saturday, uh, about the middle of March in 2022. And this is what I love about inflatable kayaking. I mean, just look at it. A truck, a car, an SUV, no roof racks, and nothing sticking out of the bed of my truck. It's an inflatable kayak from Sea Eagle. And I've done a review on the Razor Light from Sea Eagle, which is a high-performing kayak, but there's three total high-performing kayaks from Sea Eagle that I want to touch on. And on this review, we're gonna talk about the Fast Track line of kayaks from Sea Eagle. And all of Sea Eagle's kayaks, there's three, the Explorer, the Fast Track, and the Razor Light, Razor Light. <laughs> they're all high-performing kayaks in their own areas of expertise. And the fast track that we're gonna to do today is kind of in the middle between the Explorer and the Razor Light. I mean, let's take a second, just look at this. The Razor Light and the Razor Light and the Explorer brand of kayaks and, and even the fast track that I'm holding here today fold up in an extremely small package. It's only 35 pounds. I mean, it's a little, little bulky, but 35 pounds and folds up nice and neat, goes in the back seat of your vehicle, goes in the trunk of your vehicle, the hatchback. And when you get home, dry it out, fold it back up, store it in a bedroom closet, store it on a shelf in the garage, and you're done. So now, on to the review of the Sea Eagle Fast Track. Now, this is the Fast Track, fully assembled and ready to get out on the water. But let's just talk about some of the features real quick. Um, you'll notice it has an upswept bow and uh, makes it real nice for an encountering waves and things like that. You don't get a lot coming over the bow, like in a lot of hard shell kayaks because of all the flotation built into this kayak. This is a 385 FT, and this will hold one paddler with the seat right here, or if you have two seats, you can click this seat up to the forward D-rings and the rear D-rings here, and then put another seat back here where you hook between these D-rings. So it'll take a tandem paddlers or it'll take single paddlers. And with a single paddler, it's a great performing boat. And if you're gonna carry a lot of weight, like for a multi-day trip or anything like that, camping where you have coolers and a lot of stuff that you wanna put into it, no problem with the 385 FT. And the uh, maximum capacity for this boat is 635 pounds. You cannot do that in any 12-foot hard shell kayak. You go inflatable with three separate inflatable uh, air pontoons or air bladders. This is a very stable, very reliable kayak. Now, there's a 465 FT, which will take three paddlers or two paddlers. Not really good for one paddler, but I suppose it could be done. Now, the 385 FT, like you see here, uh, they make an Angler Edition, which is the 385 FTA for Angler. And what they've done for the Angler Edition is they've reinforced the sidewalls, and basically it's it's a it's a like a forest green boat with black reinforced sidewalls to protect it from hooks and things like that. Um, then it's got what they call a crocodile hide floor that goes in above this very rigid drop stitch floor. Again, to protect anything from hooks. Now, now if you are looking at the Angler Edition, um, the spray skirts on the front, uh, which is the very rigid Thousand Denier uh, PVC, uh, it has rod holders and lure holders built into the spray skirt on the bow and also on the stern of the boat. You can also get Scotty mounts that you mount to the side. They're adhesive Scotty mounts that allow you to put cameras, drink holders, rod holders, things like that as well. But um, again, this boat is 
great for fishing out of. It's just if you want more reinforcement from hooks and fish fins and you know the hooks and barbs on fishes then the FT angler would be the one you want to go with. What's nice about this for a fishing kayak or really even just a day kayak is that you can paddle sitting down very comfortable but if you're like me after I've been paddling for about an hour, hour and a half, two hours max, I got to get out of the boat and stand up. And with this boat, I'll show you when we're out here, you can stand up no problem while you're on the water. And you can do some SUP paddling if you want, or just stretch out and then get back down and sit and keep on paddling. Now, as far as, as, far as storage, this is a 35 liter dry bag here which uh, Sea to Summit 35 liter dry bag, you can easily put two dry bags and then you have room up underneath the spray skirt for other things, water bottles, first aid kits, things like that. Or if you need a cooler, which we all do, this is a uh, soft side Blue Dot Outfitters cooler. And a link for this is in my description box. It's an awesome kayak cooler that allows you to strap it to the back of rigid kayak seats with these bungees. But boom that fits in there just fine now this is the rear part of the kayak or the stern up in the bow again even more storage you can put small things up under the spray skirt but the cooler and dry bag up in the bow same thing in the back you're not only kayaking and camping for a night you're kayaking and camping for uh, you could go for a week, you could go for three days, you could go for five days. Uh, plenty of storage capability here. Now your Sea Eagle always comes with a repair kit. And this is just not, it's not a cheap old repair kit in a Ziploc bag that dries out and cracks and leaks. It has all the tools and glue and repair patches that you need to repair your kayak if in the unlikely event you do get a small air leak or anything out on the water and you can actually fix it on the water pump it back up with your manual air pump and get back on the water but again this is extremely unlikely but always better safe uh, and prepared than sorry it also has on the back of the seat a very nice storage bag and this seat all the cordura nylon it's a high quality cordura nylon it's a uh, very nice um, uh, chrome plated stainless steel hooks to all the hardware uh, it does not rust I've had this out in salt water many times um, no rust whatsoever uh, I keep a whistle in here a lot of times I keep a first aid kit I keep my repair kit in here as well so I love that seat and uh, the seat can get a little hard after an hour of paddling so you can get a little pad to put on there as well if you want more or if you want the ultimate again like I showed you before you can go with the inflatable seat now I'm ready to get this baby on the water what I've done here is I put a uh, SUP paddle in here and I've just kind of run it back off the stern so it's there for me in case I want to use it but again without the seat this is a 35 pound kayak and a pound pound and a half for the seat and then the kayak paddle it might be a little off balance when i pick it up because of the paddle but super easy to pick up and get to the water it's 35 pounds any 12 foot six hard shell kayak is extremely heavy it's going to be 60 70 pounds and if it's one of these big, wide, 34-inch wide fishing kayaks, it's going to be pushing 100 pounds. But 35 pounds, it's like going to the gym. I can military press it. Extremely easy. So let's get it out to the water. You ever launch from a shoreline location that it looks perfect because it's nice and sloping, no rocks, nice dirt, slopes right into the water. Well, when you get to the water on this one, oh my gosh, you'll sink up to your knees in mud. So I was laying logs out on the shoreline, trying to get a stable footing to step on to then step into the kayak. And uh, it was kind of a mess. I'm not gonna show you that video because it's not pretty. But uh, no, we're out on the... Uh, we're out on the water now. We're going to kind of go up the river here, and then we're going to go out to a beach area. And uh, as you can see now, paddles 
this boat paddles extremely efficient and uh, it's nice and fast it tracks well hence the name fast track now let's talk about the construction of the fast track and really um, it's the uh, it's the razor light the fast track and the explorer all three different kayaks that I'll be doing uh, reviews on. I've already done the Razor Light video, so if you want to see the Razor Light, which is the highest performing in terms of speed and agility um, out on calm water, out on open water, uh, I'll put the link for the Razor Light review in the description box. But uh, all of them are made out of a thousand denier uh, material, which is extremely durable. And uh, all the seams are quadruple overlapped. Um, this is not a pool toy. <laughs> I've seen on social media posts, people ask about inflatable kayaks and in some um, responders in the comments section that are kind of ignorant of, of inflatable kayaks or just haven't learned about inflatable kayaks that uh, they're not all pool toys yes the pool toys are pool toys but these are extremely rigid high quality high performing kayaks that will last you years and even decades so um, the one thing i'm going to put here a clip in here uh, i'm going to steal this from the uh, sea eagle website uh, just screen recorded and put it up here but uh, Here's an example of the Explorer kayak. And again, it's the same material. It's just, this is more the whitewater version. And that review is coming up shortly. But, uh, you know, in their yard, they took a Jeep. They inflated the Explorer kayak, took a Jeep and drove over it. And they also took cinder blocks and threw cinder blocks down inside it. Um, to no avail, nothing happened. Extremely durable. I see post after post after post on social media of people that have done five and 600 mile trips and sea eagles that I've, they've owned for five years and uh, no problems at all. Uh, extremely um, resistant to punctures and scrapes and things like that. Now, if you would like to add a trolling motor to this boat, uh, whether it's the Angler Edition or whether it's any size of the normal Fast Track, uh, they have a motor mount that can go on the back that will give you a side mounted up to 34 pound thrust or 34 or 35 pound thrust uh, electric motor. So um, if you want that ability to electric motor as well as paddle, no problem, you can add it to this as well. Okay, while paddling, I downloaded a uh, a little speed test app. I usually use um, Paddle Logger, which is the paddle logging app on my phone, but it wasn't there when I clicked on it. So I was like, oh, I'll get a, a speed test app. I just wanted to see how fast it went. And, um, you know, just, just normal cruising speed, like so, it was going uh, three, uh, three mile an hour to 3.5 miles per hour, like I'm doing right now. And um, sometimes it would approach about 3.8 miles per hour. But then if I really bore down on it, like so, which you can't do for too long, I, I got up to, uh, it said five miles per hour. Now, use one of those cheapo apps where it didn't have the 5.1 or the graduated 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. I think it probably got up to 5.5 because when I started slowing down just a tad, it still stayed at five miles per hour. So I think if you really bear down on it, you're gonna get, and you're a good paddler, you're gonna get five, five and a half miles per hour. But just, you know, normal, which is what you're doing anyway, just normal, uh, enjoying the day, cruising speed is gonna be, you know, a minimum of three miles per hour and probably a maximum of 3.5 miles per hour which is real good. That's right in line with a 12 foot uh, rigid touring kayak as well. Um, if it's a really wide fishing kayak, like this is 36 inches wide. If this was a 36 inch wide rigid hard shell kayak, no way would you get that speed. So, I mean, that's just simply because it's so light and it's so flotatious. It just, uh, it just rides up on the water because there's so much flotation in it and it'll hold 
you know, I think it was like 635 pounds payload. So that's the speed test. Ah, I found some sandy shoreline, not like that monkey stuff. Monkey sink to your knees stuff that I started out in. This is nice hard sand. Um, I didn't talk about the inflatable keel earlier. And what's an inflatable keel? Well, what Sea Eagle engineers did is they put a rigid plastic entry point here that slices and cuts through the water. It's actually got a point like a boat on it and it's got a rigid plastic point here. And in between they have drop stitch uh, inflation which pumps up very high. It's just a small amount of pressure, pumps this up and it gives it the ability to track. And then so does the fin at the end, which you can remove very easily. So both of these give it the trackability in the name that it has, Fast Track, and it helps it track very nicely. Now the construction of the Fast Track. Um, the, the razor light that I did a review for you first on, the razor light, was all drop stitch material. See the little dots in this floor? Well, those dots are thousands of fibers that, that tie together two layers of PVC, rigid PVC flooring. And it allows you to pump to an extremely high pressure. Uh, for this, it's 10 PSI. And uh, that extreme high pressure gives a very hard floor that you can actually stand up in. Now the Razor Light had this on all three sides. And that's what made it very fast, rigid, and high performance. What they've done with the fast track is they put the drop stitch floor in, but they put uh, pontoon sides, which take 3.2 pounds of pressure. And again, they're extremely rigid. What this does is I'm gonna take my knees here and I'm gonna lean, get on it. I'm actually on my knees, on the boat, on my knees, and it's just very durable. I'm just sitting right on the pontoon. And with these pontoons that they have, it makes it extremely stable. So I can get in to the boat very easily if you're an elderly paddler and it's hard for you to get into a boat or you're a larger paddler. It's very easy to get in and out of this boat simply because it's not too tippy. It's not going to tip over easy on you. You're going to feel very assured when you get into this kayak. The other thing is because of these side pontoons and because of the rigid drop stitch floor and how, you know, it's 36 inches wide, so it's extremely stable. Like if I lean like this too far on a normal kayak, I'm going to rock it and tip it. These pontoons keep it extremely stable, so that makes it possible to stand up in really easily and you know you can carry you can just take your kayak paddle and paddle like a stand-up paddle board or you can uh, you know carry an SUP paddle with you as well but extremely stable so what that's good for let me sit back down again what what I really like about that is like I mentioned before um, a lot of times you'll kayak up rivers and you're like, oh yeah, this can be great kayak kayaking up a river today because it's a real windy day and I won't be exposed to the wind. But some rivers you go up, there's no shoreline to get off on. It's just solid vegetation or it's solid muck and there's nowhere to stand up. And after an hour and a half of paddling, you want to stand up and stretch your legs. Well, with this, you can stand up, just stand up in the boat and that makes it real nice. Uh, makes it great for fishermen that want to stand up and sight fish. Makes it great for people that just want to stretch their legs. Makes it nice if you get to a point of your paddling trip where you want to have the wind push you back while you stand up paddle. Um, just lots of versatility. Now it's gonna, again, it'll be a little bit slower than the, than the Razor Light, but there's some trade-offs with the Razor Light in that the stability, it's a very stable boat, but because it is high performance, it's gonna be naturally less stable um, than something like this. So again, that's the versatility and it's, it's what this boat excels in. 
Now, as far as the waters that you would paddle this normally, it's, uh, you know, big open lakes, big open bays, big open water, uh, rivers, really any type of area, up to class two rapids. It's not really a whitewater boat because you have that inflatable keel up in the front and you, that's gonna be rubbing uh, the rocks and it's okay if it does for a little bit. It's uh, it's built for that and it's built to go up to class two rapids, but it's really a flat water boat. If you're gonna do any rapids uh, more than you do anything else and you'd wanna go up to the Explorer line, which I'll, I'm gonna do a review on here shortly. Now, you know, since we're talking about whitewater, Again, it's great up to class two, but with that upswept bow, that makes it nice. So when you know waves come up, either when you're going down little rapids, it's gonna minimize the amount of water that comes over the bow. Um, same thing when you're out on an open lake. If this was a summer day and I was out and there was a little more wind and there was a lot of boat traffic, I'd have a lot of swells and rocks and roll, I mean, a lot of rocking and rolling. This boat would it will do very well in that because of the, the very stable side pontoons and the upswept bow and the upswept stern uh, will help minimize any water coming over. A lot less water than you would get coming over a rigid shell kayak. So I really appreciate you coming along on this uh, this adventure. Uh, well, coming along on this review adventure today. And I really like to get out and, and do these reviews when I'm actually in the boat and I can give you aerial footage and I can actually show the boat in use. Um, whatever, if you're looking for an inflatable, the versatility of an inflatable kayak, Sea Eagle is a brand that's been around since 1968. They make wonderful products. They make extremely durable products. Go to my website uh, at kayakcliff.com uh, forward slash, uh, there, the, there's an endorsement page there where I have all the products that I endorse and that I wholeheartedly use. Go check it out. Um, there's a link for this boat in the description box and it's on my website. Um, but they have everything from paddle boards to boats to kayaks to, um, did I get it all? Canoes, they have inflatable canoes. Again, they've been around since 1968. The people at Sea Eagle know what they're doing. So again, I appreciate you watching this video. Like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I do lots of adventure videos. I'm just trying to get some review videos done before the season starts and we're you know, nice and warm and I don't wanna be doing review videos. So do lots of adventure videos. Like and subscribe. I appreciate you coming with me. Um, you know, Just safe adventuring for you out there in 2022. Just the big thing is, is just get up out of the house, get out in the great outdoors and enjoy nature. God bless, Kayak Cliff out.